7-Eleven is getting into the beauty business. The convenience store just launched its own in-house makeup brand called Simply Me Beauty. Best part is everything's under $5, but would you buy your lipstick from the same place that sells Slurpees? I thought like the makeup was going to say 7-Eleven. Mm -hmm. So did I. It doesn't, which is like a good and like a disappointing thing. I think I might do this lip crayon. What does it feel like? It's nice. It's Maybe going on really creamy, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love a crayon, a lip crayon. It looks I, like a popsicle stain, mm -hmm. but a little bit more pigmented. I just think lip crayons are so easy to apply. I guess you would need a mirror for one this this pigmented, but overall, I, I'm into this. I'm gonna try the felt with eyeliner. It feels really good. It looks nice. I wouldn't know that that wasn't TK department store brand. It's so easy to spend 25 plus dollars on an eyeliner. Yeah, I would use the eyeliner, especially in a pinch. I forget my eyeliner all the time. That's a good point. Like there's 7-Elevens everywhere. I love the idea that you could, you know, dash into 7-Eleven and buy your face for the night. I think I'm gonna try the cream lipstick. The color payoff is actually pretty impressive. It's a good orange color. They're really standout-y and they're really pigmented. Mm -hmm. This feels really smooth and like moisturizing. This is a matte and shimmer eyeshadow brick. One of the biggest things I like that I notice is that often the eyeshadows just aren't pigmented at all. Let's see if this is the exception. I'm using the darkest two shades on my hand right now. There is not much product. It gets very crumbly. There's a lot of blowback of the product. This is a blush. It That's kind of cute. looks like children's makeup. I don't know how well this works, but it's really adorable. Nothing happened when you just put it on your face. Okay, so they also have a brow powder and wax. It's a little bit like a pomade, but it's a lot creamier. I think that this would be for someone with very light brown or blonde eyebrows. I'm putting it on, and this is like six coats of it, and it's almost like a gray. It's really creamy, whereas the pomade's a little bit more tacky, so I'm not sure how that would look. Not a fan of that. This is the Cream Lip Gloss in Berry. I love to smell lip glosses. Yeah, what does it smell like? It's a little bit vanilla-y, but not overpoweringly so. The lip products are doing really well for me. They're like exceeding my expectations. I think that's really cute. You can use like as much or as little of it as you want. Yeah, it looks really buildable. I'm gonna try their mascara. And show us the brush too. Oh, the brush is good. Oh, it's like a silicone brush. Mm -hmm. That's actually pretty good. It's not yeah. clumpy. I'm into the eye stuff. Okay, so final verdict. What did you guys like? What did you not like? What would you never in a million years use? I really like the eyeliner, and the mascara was cool too. I was really impressed by all the lip products, honestly. Yeah. They all had really good color payoff, and the colors were like not what I expected either. Like there's kind of a variety. What about the powder products? Definitely what I would expect from like makeup I got at a gas station. It's not pigmented at all, it moves a lot. There's like a ton of fallout. I think it's a decent first try. And I think people are gonna buy it. Although if I'm being honest, my favorite 7-Eleven product on this table is still the Slurpee.